Day's fantastic, we've got 30 schools from across Scotland, uh, 300 young kids kicking a ball, having fun, being inspired I think by the stadium and, and the coaching that you see behind you, so it's a fantastic day, fantastic occasion for these kids. You know, great day for the kids. Uh, you know, it would be a dream come true for some of these kids to play in Hamden. And as I say, hopefully some of them, um, you know, if they, they stick to doing, um, you know, what they do best, playing football and just enjoying themselves really. And uh, hopefully some of them can be here one day. I think it gets the enjoyment into the game at that age, you know, fun wee games and it's such an organised event that they can have fun and then that gets them involved in enjoying football to then progress if they want to become professional players. As the Scottish Football Association, we want to introduce young players to the game and inspire them to be involved in football for life. And it's important that they get good experiences at a young age. I think you'd agree, you can't get a better experience than coming to Hamden, getting coached by experienced, qualified coaches in an environment that's just going to you know, encourage them to enjoy the game and learn to love the game, which is the most important thing for us, certainly, uh, at playing the game at six and seven years of age. Well, we would set up uh, some small-sided games there, uh, so they're playing four-a-side football, um, which is part of our national pathway anyway for that particular age group. Um, and then behind both the goals, uh, we had some uh, skill stations and some inflatables up where the kids were doing some overhead kicks and diving headers and just really having a, a bit of fun and a chance to kick the ball and you know an opportunity to, to play football on the on the pitch. So it's been it's been a great experience for them. Um, I think the benefits are that, they, that they're going to learn the basics of football, you know, passing, dribbling, um, shooting, heading, all, all the things that are going to, all the things that are going to give them the tools to become a, a, a better footballer. Um, so it's important that you know they, they get good habits, they get taught the right things, um, which is going to you know stand them in good stead for moving forward. I mean, the key thing that is that you've got somebody who has an empathy with children and can understand children, that's important, as well as having a knowledge of the game to a certain extent and being able to put on the right type of activities, be able to work with children in the right way because, remember, they're not adults at this stage and it's important for us that in coaching and as a coach that you remember that and your job really is to inspire, to make sure it's fun, to engage the young children and as you can see out there, they're having a fantastic time and, and that's down to the whole, the whole package. When I was young, and you know, you're just playing in the street. Uh, but you need, as you say, that these coaches, most of the most of them are players, ex-players, and they know exactly um, what it takes to get to, you know, the next level. And it's, it's all about progress, really. Um, taking each stage as it comes, and, and that's what your development's all about. Um, and for me, if I was getting coached off um, ex-players, it'd have been, you know, a, a, been a dream come true, really. Just meet them first and foremost, but to develop your game is, uh, you know, it's a different class.
Well, I think we're trying to encourage them to be fit. I think we're all very aware now that children have to be fit and healthy and try and encourage them to take as, as much sort of participation in sport as they can. So this is something they can do anywhere, play football anywhere and just encourage them to sort of carry on with it later. And just anything that makes them fit and healthy and active is really important when trying to encourage at school all the time. Yeah, of course, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing better than playing at the, the National Stadium. Um, I, I didn't actually play at the National Stadium until I got uh, the chance to play with Scotland. Um, so some of these kids being on there just now is, you know, first class. Yeah, I, I must admit, it's one of those you kind of wish you were a boy yourself again and getting a chance to run out onto that pitch and experience it all. So, you know, they're kicking a the ball on the pitch, they're getting the Scottish Cup and they're getting a picture taken with the Scottish Cup. They're on the winner's podium and they're getting a chance to be on live TV. So it really is. It's that experience that you know they may, may never get, but hopefully, from a football perspective, it gets them interested in the game, and it keeps them in the game for, for from our point of view for as long as possible. Just playing at an international stadium, you know, with the guys' team. I mean, I'm sure all of them support their country, and they can turn around and say that they've played here as well. And obviously, I think they get a the picture with the Scottish Cup, which you know doesn't happen often. And I think they're just going to enjoy the day. Um, hopefully, they enjoy themselves and um, they get back home, tell their parents they had fun. Um, and it, you know, maybe some um, little bit of coaching or one little bit of you know, information really that uh, they take home and, and it sticks with them um, for their development. Yeah, I think it's been actually fantastic. We've obviously had them in school for the last 10 weeks um, and especially for the girls as well. They've really enjoyed it and just kind of feel like, oh, this is a sport that we can be involved in as well. So no, it's been excellent. They've been quite disappointed to have teachers back um, teaching PE again. <laughs> so no, it's been, it's been excellent, really good. This will definitely stick in the minds of some of these kids. Not getting the opportunity to like this at all is going to impact them greatly. Some don't get out of Murray at all and it's just, get just the whole, just, it's just seeing the smiles on their faces is just incredible. We left at six this morning, uh, four hours in a bus, um, but as I say, worth every minute of it. Well, one of the boys in my class, Aaron, said, this has been the best day of my life, Mrs Forbes. You know, and for him it's just, Football sometimes seems about all these big players with loads and loads of money and here he was today standing on their turf and in their changing room and just realising actually that supporting our team, our national teams and that is really important. Yeah, they've got an important role to play in that so no, it's been really good.